Welcome to Family Health, Class 3. We are going to be covering sexually transmitted diseases and infections. This will also supplement and reinforce the information covered by the Turlock Pregnancy Center presentation on STDs and STIs. There will also be this information on your quiz number one on topic speaker number one that is under Blackboard Assignments. Again, Turlock Health and Pregnancy Center is right across the street, and we're fortunate to have speakers from Turlock Pregnancy Center come in and discuss with us different subjects, including sexually transmitted diseases and infections, healthy relationships, and pregnancy and prenatal development. They are experts in the field, and they're a great community resource. Um, I can say that many women, men, and their families firsthand have benefited from their counseling support and information that they provide. So no other disease has impacted the global landscape in terms of the number of people, resources to research and combat, and the overall media, cultural, medical, and societal attention that has been given to AIDS or acquired immune deficiency syndrome. While it still remains a very fatal disease, it has become a disease that has become somewhat manageable for those who are living long beyond the life expectancy from 20 years ago. This map, it shows the disproportionate distrib distribution of HIV cases throughout the world. As we see in the sub-Saharan continents of Africa, it is still a very widespread disease in, in epidemic proportion and in Southeast Asia is wildly under control as well. Um, it has become a much more managed situation in North America and Europe, uh, specifically uh, Western Europe. So here are some of the origins and how HIV is transmitted. The CD4 T cells are attacked and other infection fighting cells of the body and renders our body pretty much defenseless against opportunistic infections like pneumonia. So here's the common course of HIV once it is transmitted to an individual. You can see here from the time that it first is introduced into the body to what occurs on the um, y-axis there of the CD4 cells which are your T cells, your immunity cells, and how they become depleted over time. Common routes of transmission of the HIV virus, sexual contact, direct contact with infected blood, mother to child transmission, it is not contracted through casual contact. These are the typical population groups or prevalent population groups of special concern for transmission of HIV. By no means feel like you're off the hook if you don't fall into these categories. Men, women, children, heterosexual, homosexual, and all ethnicities have been impacted by HIV. Once HIV is transmitted, here are some of the various signs and symptoms of HIV during the first few days or, half, or, or weeks, half the people will develop flu-like symptoms like fever, fatigue, rashes, headaches, swollen lymph nodes, body aches, night sweats, sore throat, nausea, and diarrhea. There are special tests, um, including an R RNA assay, and certain opportunistic infections can occur, um, including pneumonia, um, some skin lesions called Kaposi sarcoma, um, and it's difficult to treat, and there are difficult to treat yeast infections in women that occur and even in some cases tuberculosis can develop or at least being opportunistic once you're hospitalized to contracting TB. So this pie chart helps show the wide range of populations that are susceptible to HIV infection. And there are various differences from the United States to worldwide. HIV can be detected through various means, and if you're concerned that you've been exposed, free HIV testing is available at our county health clinic and at our Stanislaus State Health Center. The following types of treatment have made HIV somewhat in the ranks of manageable chronic diseases like diabetes. Nevertheless, there remains no known cure for HIV, 
and the discoveries of new strains and viruses make prospects of a cure even less likely in the near future. Medications like AZT and protease in inhibitors have helped interfere with the replication of HIV once it attacks the cells. But this is the basic route of transmission of how the CD4 cells or immune cells are affected by the HIV virus. In terms of prevention, steps of prevention remain relatively simple and not unlike the steps taken to prevent the spread of other sexually transmitted diseases and, inf and infections. Be careful about your choices in sexual activity. Don't share drug needles if you are a drug addict and participating in HIV educational programs that involve safe sex practices, including barrier methods of uh, sexually transmitted um, disease prevention. This chart of risk factors with the lowest on the bottom and the highest on top of risk factors for sexually transmitted diseases and infections So HIV gets a lot of attention, but by far the most prevalent sexually transmitted disease in the United States is chlamydia trichomatosis, or just commonly called chlamydia. Stanislaus County is apparently the fifth highest county in the nation for chlamydia um, prevalence. It can cause sterility in women. It can affect the cervix and the uterus, and the men it can affect the epididymis, or what sp stores our sperm, the urethra, the, the testes, urethritis, bacterial bladder infections and a watery discharge. Symptoms can be asymptomatic um, initially, but then can cause burning sensation in the genitals. Here are the ways chlamydia is spread, diagnosed, treated, and ways to protect against the transmission of chlamydia. Gonorrhea remains a common sexually transmitted disease throughout the United States. It can be life-changing and causing sterility, arthritis, and heart problems. The consequence of these sexually transmitted diseases is a condition called pelvic inflammatory disease. It can lead to sterility, ectopic pregnancy, and chronic pain. The symptoms are listed and in, included in the slide. Here are some of the treatments associated with pelvic inflammatory disease, including antibiotics, bed rest, sexual abstinence, and perhaps even surgery to remove scarring. The human papillomavirus is a widely prevalent uh, condition in culture and society now with an HPV vaccine being made available to uh, children and uh, teenage uh, uh, ch uh, teenage girls to prevent the spread of HPV. Herpes. There are two forms of herpes, virus 1 and 2. Above the, basically above the waist and below the waist. Both are sexually transmitted diseases. They remain in the body for life. It is a virus. Uh, it can cause recurring rash and painful ulcerations. Primary outbreaks include pain and discomfort around the infected area, itching, burning, and during urination. Here's how herpes can be spread, diagnosed, treated, and protected from. Hepatitis B virus can cause liver disease and death. Transmission is through semen, saliva, blood, and urine, or basically body, body fluids. It is much more contractible than HIV, and you do need to be careful about your uh, basic contact with other uh, people's um, body fluids. Syphilis remains in the body for life and can lead to disfigurement. There is a primary phase, a secondary phase, and a late stage. There are times where there's relatively no symptoms at all, so it can be difficult to detect uh, during those periods of asymptomology. Other sexually transmitted diseases include um, trichomoniasis, um, which causes vaginitis and is transmitted by contact and can produce an itching or burning sensation. Discomfort may increase during intercourse and urination. There may also be a yellow, 
green, itchy, frothy, foul-smelling, or fishy-smelling vaginal discharge, and it's associated with the increased risk of uh, human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. HIV not only has the HIV virus, but there are a lot of other opportunistic infections and sexually transmitted diseases that go hand in hand with HIV. Uh, it can cause a woman to deliver a low birth weight or premature infant, can increase the can chances of cervical cancer, and infection in males of trichomoniasis uh, raises the risk of prostate cancer and, the develop and its spread due to inflammation. Bacterial vaginosis causes abnormal homogeneous off-white vaginal discharge, especially after vaginal intercourse that may be accompanied by an unpleasant smell. And it presents as an acidic pH in a, va a vaginal fluid of greater than four, four and a half in the discharge. There are effective treatments with metronidazole or clindamycin with this. Now, pubic lice, also known as crab lice, is also uh, can be uh, transmitted sexually. Scabies, which is a, a contagious skin infection caused by a mite. This mite is a tiny and usually not directly visible parasite which burrows under the host skin, causing intense itching, most often transmitted by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with higher, with higher risk with prolonged contact. The superficial burrow tracks are often linear to, to the point that a neat line of four or, or more closely packed, placed and equally developed mosquito-like bites is almost a diagnosis for the disease. There is no vaccine available for scabies and treatment must often involve the entire household or community to prevent reinfection. So our health center on campus is also a good source for information and can provide confidentiality and privacy with your information. If you are sexually active, you would be wise to get the HPV vaccine and know how to check for symptoms and be open in communication with your partners. Just looking ahead, here are some questions. Um, blank is widely spread disease, particularly among youth that now has a vaccine and can minimize the risk of infection, and that is HPV. Next question is herpes is a blank infection is not completely curable. That would be a viral infection. Next question is oral contraception, tubal ligation, and vasectomies can minimize pregnancy risk would be the answer for this one. They do not protect us from sexually transmitted diseases. It just prevents pregnancy. Next question is, blank is the most prevalent bacterial sexually transmitted disease. It is a common cause of sterility in men and women. And that answer is chlamydia. Next question is, there are two types of herpes simplex viruses and the answer is true. HIV is more contagious than hepatitis, and that is false. Hepatitis is more contractible. So that concludes this week's sexually transmitted disease and infection presentation that will go along with the presentation presented by Turlock Pregnancy Center, and um, there will be covered under your topic number one uh, quiz. It's a multiple attempt quiz, and you can earn up to 75 points with successful completion of the quiz.